Anyone living in Los Santos knows that making a living can be hard. But for immigrants with less than perfect reputations, the question of how to support themselves and their families is a much trickier conundrum. I met one such immigrant, who was asked to be called Salami to protect his identity, through a mutual contact within the sniper gang. As we gazed over the waters off the pier, he shared with me his struggle as an immigrant, just trying to make his way in the world. On that fateful night, he forever changed the meaning of a familiar term for me. House cleaning. The house right behind me looks like any other house on the block, but it's not. Because it is currently being cleaned. My work starts at night. Okay. And um, I uh, finish off with daytime, so the whole daytime I get money from work. I oh, sell okay. the products. There is often a perception among us that criminals are quite lazy. However, Salami quickly tries to make me understand his perspective. I pretty much am a uh, hard worker. I don't sleep a lot because I'm trying to make it out here in America. Um, I try to uh, support also my family back in, uh, in India and supply them with money. With legal means of getting a job cut off to Salami, we talked about the troubles of being an immigrant and trying to make ends meet. Getting money here is uh, doing legal things, I would say, is pretty hard. Unlike some criminals, it's not money at all costs for Salami, though. As we toured the city in one of his many souped-up vehicles, he painted a picture of his own limits. So I stick to the uh, not very legal side, because I don't want to ruin families. I'm here to make money. I'm, I'm not a hard criminal. I don't shoot people. I don't. I do, what else I do when it's self-defense, but I don't. I'm not like a violent gang member, I, I just need money, that's all I'm in for the crime life. Yeah, if, if I had other options that are fun and not very uh, long and tedious to make money, I would definitely go on the legal side of them. As we further discussed his experiences within Los Santos, Salami confided in me that it hasn't always been smooth sailing. As an immigrant, he faced a unique challenge in acclimating to the climate around him and learning who to trust. The only bad charge I have is when I was drugged. That, that's the only bad charge I have. And what happened is the first time I ran from the cops was then. I, I, like, I bought a new car. Some uh, gang members drugged me with, like, some heroin or something. And that made me just go crazy. But when I ran from the police, I took him on a wild chase through the sewers and canals. And uh, I, uh, I used for some reason, you know, I crashed the car and I hopped out, or I was in the car, I can't really remember, that's what the cops told me. And I started shooting at them. I didn't kill anyone though, I think I shot one of the officers in the vest and I got attempted murder of a LEO twice, times two, because there's two of them. Besides sending money home to your family, what do you plan to do with your wealth? About businesses, yeah, I'm pretty interested in a few things. Um, I'm interested in starting a dealership for a, a motorcycle dealership. I'm interested in uh, starting up a Indian food place. I'm interested in uh, starting up uh, uh, like uh, something uh, like legal racing, as you mentioned. But to do that, you know, we need to uh, uh, set up a lot of uh, stuff and get the roads closed if we're going to race on roads. After driving about the city for a while, the sun began to slowly sink, and it was time for Salami to get ready to work. Now, uh, the look at the time, it's the, the time that shit starts getting serious. It's the, even it's the time where he get to clean the houses. Are you at all concerned about the cops discovering your cleaning business? If the cops, like, if the cops are coming, I'll tell you, and we'll, uh, you know, drive away, but low chance it will come. Like, I would say 5%. And I'll, uh, I'll know when they're coming. Uh, here, let me grab some tools for the house cleaning, you know, some sponges. As we pull up to one of the local homes, Salami agrees to wear one of my GoPros as he does his cleaning, and narrates his thoughts. The location for the house is very specific because uh, this block is amazing. You have a crafting bench somewhere in the block which you can use to craft... Uh, keys, you know, for the house, and you know, all the old stuff, you know, you can make drugs here, uh, plus, uh, it's kind of a gang territory, but the gang, it doesn't kind of really exist anymore, like, they're not very active, um, 
And yeah, all these houses are cleanable, so you can all of them want cleaning, so you can just walk in and clean them. Okay. And the street above us is also cleanable. There we go. Uh, so from that house, I got. I'll tell you what I got. So uh, I got weed, uh, cigarettes, a condom, cough medicine, drain cleaner, earrings, a gold ring. Hydrogen peroxide, some napkins, some olive oil from the kitchen, perfume, uh, a scratch off lottery ticket, sunglasses, a sunscreen. I took a plunger as well from their toilet and an iPad. Pretty good. They had a TV. Oh wow, so you could carry the whole thing out, huh? Yep, and the TV is five grand. Oh wow. So I just made around, let's say, seven grand off that house another amazing house i got another tv wow jackpot tonight huh yeah but now they're like six grand up that house and wow. um, i didn't tell you uh for one night of house cleaning i get somewhere close to one hundred thousand. you you know you know if you're lucky like me right now i got a lot of tvs sometimes you get watches diamond watches diamonds uh, it's really a gamble, you know? Sometimes you might make 50 grand, sometimes you make 150 grand. That would say my average is around 70 to 80. It's not all fun and games, though. As I wait outside one of the houses for Salami to finish his cleaning, a most terrifying sound reaches my ear. I heard a dog bark. Was that, uh, was that you? No, watch out, run! Whoa! Oh my god, these gang dogs around here, they'll kill you. Oh my they goodness. Might... Yeah, I, I went to the hospital twice just because of them. That seemed vicious. Was that, uh, was that the owner's dog? I think so. Salami proves himself not only good at cleaning, but he also has some great prowess at fine-tuned mechanical engineering, as he needs to make additional keys for his work to continue. Gonna have to make a quick stop at the hardware store to grab some keys and craft them at the bench, so you'll see. Okay. That works. As the sun begins to break over the horizon and our time together draws to an end, Salami's work is just half done. He breaks down what has to happen now that his cleaning is done. You know, there's multiple locations. You gotta sell everything, uh, go to the black market, sell the some other items there, get some dark money, clean the dark money. With Salami's work only half done, we break for a quick street race as we giggle like little girls as he revs up his engines and takes off. It dawns at me, at the end of the day, Salami and I are not that different. We talk at length between his cleaning houses, about his love of cars, racing, Indian food, and his hopes for a better tomorrow. The path for him to reach those dreams, however, is just a bit darker than mine. As I say goodbye to Salami, the important questions remain. How do we create opportunities for talented individuals such as Salami? What is so broken in our system that their only resort is the path of the house cleaner?